you've been in some very difficult positions driving cars that couldn't stay together, wouldn't stay together. You've drove great cars for Gibbs. So you've kind of now, uh, in, a, in a way, been able to see both sides of it. You know, you've been able to see what being with a great team's like. And you know, obviously, well, than most, what being with a with a team that's struggling to get there is like. Um, what have you? I guess what have you learned about yourself in the last couple of years? Is I I don't want to make assumptions, but when you had the DEI thing happen years and years ago, you like anybody to you know didn't realize what kind of opportunity you had or how to handle that the right way or um, how to make the most of that right. And as I've seen you kind of go through the last probably five or six years, it's like you've evolved as a man, you know, to minimize those, those mistakes or, or maximize each opportunity. Um, you know, some of the things probably don't end the way you want them to. Some of them are frustrating because they don't, don't, they don't get to the finish line. You have an agreement and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't it doesn't work out the way it was all promised at the beginning, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, how, how, what have you done? How have you changed as a person to, you know, not blow up, not not throw, you know, not not stomp your foot, pitch a fit, make a scene? How do you swallow your pride in that moment when something goes wrong, and you got to regroup, you got to rebuild? Yeah, I mean it's tough. You've had to re- <laughs> you've, you've had to rebuild three or four times, oh, yeah. I think, in the last six seven years. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean it's tough. You know when you know you the Gibbs deal, obviously, you know that was looking great, and I thought, man, this is going to turn out to be, you know, this is this is it. This is my break. You know, this is what I've been busting my butt for. And then it fall, falls apart. You know, uh, you know, it's like, man, like that. Yeah, that sucks. Like, but at the end of the day, you lay there and cry about it, or you get up and and get back to work, and and that's kind of you know where I've I've looked at it. It's like you know, you, and it's probably one of the uh, I, I would say even going back to doing the MMA fight, like how hard we work at something to be successful, and you know that was a, even a little more extreme. Yeah. But that was probably one of the biggest character builders that I've had in my my life. Was I would love to. I think that I'm glad you brought that up. You know, and I love talking about that moment in your life, not because I'm impressed that you trained to be an MMA fighter, got in a ring at an actual event and fall and won. That is impressive for anybody. But what that had to have done for you as a person, I, I just imagine where you would be today had you not went through that. Yeah. The discipline. Yeah. No, I mean, I definitely, I mean, it's, I tell people all the time, like the discipline aspect of that and like the, the fact of, I mean, I, I've never been, I've never gotten fights in school. I wrestled, but, you know, I never gotten fights and stuff other than me and Bobby fighting. That was about it, you know. <laughs> um, but, you know, to go in there, not a fighter, and, and, and do something like that, that I just, it wasn't me, and do it and, and be successful at it was a huge character builder to me and was kind of like, all right, well, you know, this is how hard we got to work to be successful. Yeah. At what point did you realize that? Because I think sometimes when you do things like that, you don't realize in the moment oh, yeah. of, of what it's doing and affecting you. So at what point did you realize how impactful that was for yeah, you? Yeah, I would say, you know, a couple of days after, I, you know, I mean, I woke up the next morning, I was like, man, I, I did an MMA fight last night. You know, it's like, <laughs> like almost in yeah. disbelief, like, you know, holy cow, I did that, you know? Yeah. But, um, you know, then you sit back and you look at like what all you pulled out of it like yeah it was great exposure yeah you know did something one off yeah it was a bucket list checked off um but also like man like i just did something that i had no clue about busting my butt for two months you know training four hours a day seven days a week for this fight and and won and i was like man like this is this is it like this is this proves like you know if you want it you can go get it. You just got to bust your butt to do it. So that's kind of how I've looked at, you know, my racing career. You know, we get knocked down and, you know, we've been knocked down plenty of times, but we always get back up and we keep fighting. And, uh, you know, it's something, obviously I have a, a huge passion to race. I love it. And I'm, you know, I tell everybody it's an addiction, you know, that you get hooked to 
that adrenaline rush of just, you know, going out there and being competitive. But, um, you know, if you want it bad enough, you'll figure it out. And, you know, it's, I feel like that's with anything in life. If, if you want it bad enough, there, there's ways to figure it out. You just got to go do it. So, so you're at the shop often yeah. every day. Yeah. Um, when are you going to get married? I don't know. <laughs> Man, That's I thought we were talking about the shop. Yeah. Well, I'm just thinking, like, yeah. you know, they're, you're 33 years old. Yep. Um, you know, you. Playing the, still, I'm playing the long game like you. You are. <laughs> <laughs> That's he could probably give you some advice on that when yeah. it comes to having kids. It's a long out. game. It, yeah. is, it does work out, but it's harder, isn't it? There's some pluses and minuses. <laughs> There's some pluses and minuses. Um, you know, do you think about family? Do you think about having kids? Do you? I know you probably don't spend much time on that during the day. Not yeah. like you know, driving around your car, pop, you know, think, think daydreaming about these things. But is that like? Hey man, I'm gonna get to that eventually one day. Yeah, I, I mean, do, I do want to have that in my life at some point. I feel, I feel like I always say I don't, um, only because like I, you know, I'm I want to chase this racing Just thing working hard for yourself, forever, yeah. right? And but you've had relationships. Yeah, yeah. And I what mean, are relationships like for Jeffrey? Um, difficult. You know, it's it's hard traveling all the what's time. The, what's always been on the, the go. problem? Just tra- the tra- <laughs> the travel, the nonstop. You know uncertainty being of gone. where you're going yeah not being yep. able to be together all the time then yeah. understanding yeah it's it's cuz like difficult. you're going to get up in the morning and leave the house you're not going to come back till when you come back yeah and then you're going to noodle yeah yeah you know? <laughs> and then you're going to go race yeah on the weekend yeah. you might be gone the, you might be gone 2 or 3 weeks and and for me it's like you know I want to put my heart and soul into racing cuz that's that's my passion yeah and like I there get is it's not, not fair yeah but well this girl's going to come along man and be you this has happened to you already once yeah where a girl came along and became everything. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so I guess maybe having experienced no you know, knowing how that can you know, how priorities can like flip overnight. Because it's happened it happened to me. Yeah. You know, I, I woke up one day and went, Oh, that's all I care about. Yeah. Is is this this girl I'm dating. Uh and then now everything else is second, third, fourth, fifth, right? <laughs> she went from the bottom to the very top of the list. Um and you know I, I wonder, I guess maybe you haven't haven't had that experience, right? At some point in your life, you at least know, all right, the next time I do that, I'm going to make sure it's the real deal. Are yeah, you, I mean, you, I, I guess I feel like there's a, I guess there's a time for everything. Yeah, and yeah. when it's meant to be, it'll happen. Yeah. Um, and, But, you know, to, you know, it's like, it's it's not necessarily fair when, you know, I'm, so focused on racing yeah. like i want i want to be successful at this i want to you know i want to do big things and and it's hard to it's hard to give someone else time you know it's yeah. like when when i mean you know how hard it is to be successful at racing it's it's just every day every day yeah. so every day. hey if you like that video you'll love the entire podcast the dale jr download it's available on all major podcast platforms 